Don't scroll, this may be for you. I don't know why I feel led to share this part of my story, so God protect my words. I found God in the middle of the country where you see more bear and deer than you did people at a church called Cabin Swamp where there were maybe 20 people and they were probably all related. As I continued to go to that church, I started to gain relationships. In one particular relationship, we had lunch one day, her, her fiance, and her child with my son, who was six months at the time. And in that, I thought it was great. She dropped me off back at my house where I was staying at the time. And then the next Sunday, I noticed she didn't talk to me. She didn't grab my baby like she used to. And her and her friends completely blocked the entire aisle that I was sitting on every single Sunday I went. I felt heartbroken, confused, and rejected. In that moment, why would God allow this to happen to me after all the rejection that I had gone through my whole entire life when I was just so excited about him? When it was time to worship God, I stood up and I started to actually listen to the words that were coming out of my mouth about how much he loved me, how he chose me. And in that moment, as I felt heartbroken and alone, sitting on an aisle by myself with my child, like I was Mary Magdalene, I felt complete peace and surrender and presence. I opened up my hands, and this is not something you do in a conservative country church, okay? I opened up my hands and I, I felt and experienced God and his love in a way that I had never before. He completely covered me in that moment. And in that, my future mother and father actually came up to me to try to help me get out of the situation that I was in. They have recently passed, uh, but it moved her that I was in such a surrendering place, a vulnerable place. God was teaching me that people will let you down. And that's what they did my whole life, even in the church, but he never does. And when they let me down, he came in and he covered me. And I leaned on that love and that grace throughout my whole life to get me to where I am today. Why do I tell you this? I tell you this because people hurt people, but God never will. The Bible says that man will let us down, but God never does. And to put our trust in him and not into man. I had to ask myself a question in that moment. And it was this. Am I going to church for them? Or am I going to church for him? And when I asked that question, he answered it and he showed up. Everything I did from that moment on, not just go to church, was for him. His approval was the only thing that mattered. And it got me through a lot more rejection that I would experience. Why do I say this? If you're feeling discouraged, if you have been hurt by someone, lean into God. He won't let you down.